All right guys, so a common issue when you're trying to integrate CG into your live action shot is how to hide the scene between the CG element and the live action shot. And there are a lot of ways to do this. Of course, if your element is sitting on your live action shot, you want to use a shadow pass and make sure that the lighting of that element is matching the live action shot as well. But let's say you get a fairly close composite lighting and color correction wise, and you just want another way to blend in that scene. This technique is one way you can do that. I've been working on this set extension here, and as you can see, we're using one of our City Builder 3D add-on assets and adding it into our shot but you'll notice that there's obviously this scene here that is very noticeable and there are some things I could do here with just color correction to blend it into the shot obviously and perhaps I could maybe just darken this portion of the 3d asset but rather than adjusting the 3d model itself one thing you can do is actually composite in some other CG elements that are similar to the environment that you're adding your asset to that sort of overlay on the scene where the CG element meets the live action so as you can see here if I go to layout mode I've actually added some grass and other 3D nature assets right on the seam where our building meets the ground of our live action shot. And this sort of acts to blend the main element into the live action shot as well. And this also helps integrate the CG element into the environment that you're adding it to simply because it's likely that this sort of growth of nature would happen in this specific example with this kind of derelict building and such. And for these nature assets, I've just used the Nasarga Light add-on. We do have a nature creature bundle including this Nasarga Light add-on as well as our spider fight. So that is available on Blender Market if you're looking for a deal. But anyway, if I render these new nature elements out on a separate view layer and actually composite these nature elements into the scene, we'll get something like this where you can actually see that the seam where the CG meets the live action shot is a lot less noticeable due to adding these nature elements that just blend everything together very nicely.